Yo, what up? YouTube, this is your boy the Food Junkie, just coming at you with another video. Um, this video, I don't know, it's maybe long, maybe short, don't, you know, depends on how much I want to say about this topic. A lot of people want to dive into it. Um, basically, last night I was, of course, after work, late at night, um, I was on YouTube just searching and going through the YouTube channels, seeing what I could find, looking at what I could look at. And the overwhelming sense that I was getting was sadness. Not for me, because, you know, it's not that um, serious for me. This is just entertainment for me. But listening to people and listening to talking about situations and things like that that's happening here on YouTube, it's just some sadness and darkness and like overwhelming just uncomfortableness almost I can say um, and I kind of wanted to talk about where I think it started from you know where I think that it derived from and you know we've been saying this for years you know just in general about social media how social media is a good thing and bad thing because of how you use it and what you use it for things like that I think that with the whole viral and video blogging type situation uh, people have become, I don't know, more sinister, I should say, more dark. Because first it was, you can, you, you can still remain anonymous, you know what I'm saying, by not having your right avatar, or right, or distorting your voice, or distorting your face, or just having pictures um, flip here, there, there, here and there while you talk about things. But people have become brazen and rude and nasty and just unloving and unforgiving and things like that. Um, just dark, you know. Hope you get raped, I'm gonna kill you. Um, fuck you and your mama and all this stuff like that. Like, whoa, whoa, this is all entertainment. This is all viral videos. These are just, you know, words from people you really don't, don't know. You know, like I said, I watch a lot of different YouTubers. And I like several of them. I'm subscribed to several of them. But do I know them? No. Do they know me? No. Um, you know, it's very rare that you know someone. Just, just, just like a celebrity, you know. I may like an artist and their music and their acting skills or their talents that they portray. But do I really truly know them as an individual, as a person? Do I know their integrity level and things like that? No. They show me what they want me to see. They show me what they want me to believe they are. They wear a mask. You know, we all wear masks. You know what I'm saying? Um, some of us, some, some of our masks are paper thin where you can see through them. But some of masks are so thick that you can't, it's like concrete cement. You can't see through anything, you know, because their mask is so good and they wear it so well. But I think there's some people on YouTube or, starting to crack, you know, um, their mask is starting to reveal who they truly are, what their personality truly is, you know, how sinister they are, how deceptive and belligerent they are. You know, you can say, oh, I don't care, this is just YouTube, but the thing is, if you take it upon yourself to spew that hatred, that vitriol onto YouTube, what's that? it says a lot about you and who you are as an individual. Yes, we all have moments where we, you know, can pop off and snap off on somebody and, you know, say mean things or bad things or things that we may not normally say in our everyday life. But is it because we're on YouTube and we have this protection of a screen and we're not face to face with one another that gives us this excuse or permission to be rude and nasty and mean to, to one another? You know, I think that, you know, even on YouTube, like I said, I'm still a new um, content creator, but I still want to stay true to who I am as a person in my real life, you know, and in my real life, I don't have drama. In my real life, I don't, you know, go back and forth with people. In my real life, I don't, you know, behave in a lot of ways where I see people on YouTube behaving. Granted, I'm entertained by it. But I'm entertained by it because I know 
I will not experience that. I don't experience that. That's not what I do. Have I had to check people every once in a while in my real life? Yes, I have. You know, have I been in fights and brawls and, you know, throwing tables through windows in restaurants? <laughs> yeah, that's another story as well. But, you know, I was younger. I've grown. I've matured. I, you know, realized that that's not how to behave in public. That's not what I want to be seen as or come across as. You know, like I said, we've all done things in our past that we are growing from, from we have learned from, we are hopefully do differently as more mature adults. But it's like, is YouTube giving us, or these viral videos or videos in general, these cameras, these phones, these whatever computer screens, giving us the permission to behave uncivil towards one another? I don't understand it, but you know, it's not for me to truly understand because I can't control anyone else and what, how they behave and how they react and things like that. All I can do is control what I do, how I behave and how I react to certain situations. Like I said before, I'm not one to try to start a beef or a tr drama or a trouble, things like that, but I'm not one to run away from it when it comes my way either, you know, but I'm working on that as well. Learning to walk away, learning to turn it up a cheek, learning to, you know, not respond to everything, you know. I work on that in my everyday life. Thank God I haven't been able to, I haven't had to experience that on YouTube as of yet. And I hope I don't, you know. I think I'm, like I said, I'm, from, I'm a pretty nice person. I'm a pretty cool person. I'm pretty down to earth, you know. You may say, oh, he's boring. His content is not what I want. And if it's not, that's fine. It doesn't have to be your cup of tea. But I'm not on here to, well, I'm on here to, like I said, brand myself, you know, about what I do. But at the same time, I want you to get to know who I am as a person. I like giving people choices. I like giving people all of me as much as possible, you know what I'm saying, without, you know saying, giving myself away too much, you know. I need to have something for myself. But I want you to know me as much as possible. I want you to understand what makes me tick, what makes me not tick, what makes me tick off, you know, what ticks me off, things like that. You know, it's, you know, my personality is one that is, I have a very dry sense of humor. I'm, I'm a very funny person I think if I say so myself but I'm not that loud crazy screaming oh hell no motherfucker da, 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 da. that's not who I am you know what I'm saying it's just never been who I am well let me rephrase that once I realized why I was that individual I made a conscious decision not to be that person anymore because when I was that person where I was loud going kind of to a room just to scream I was doing it just to be seen not knowing that I'm going to be seen regardless, you know, if I just stay true to who I am and my beliefs and my, you know, the person that God meant for me to be, I'm going to be seen regardless, you know, not everyone's going to like me, not everyone's going to accept who I am, they may want that loud, crazy, in your face person, but that's not who I am, you know, can I be that person? Yeah, we all can. There's many sides to all of us and all of us choose to embrace whatever side works best for us. And I found in my life, being this loud, crazy, aggressive, in your face, always cussing and fussing and messing around with people was not, this doesn't work for me, you know. While it was fun for the moment, it's not fun for a lifetime. And if I call myself an adult, I can't rely on always screaming and yelling to be heard or, and or to be seen. I need to rely on other talents that I have, such as being able to communicate with you one-on-one -on -one or being able to hold a decent conversation, being able to, you know, express myself in a coherent manner. You know, like I said, not everyone's gonna like it. I'm not everyone's cup of tea. I'm not for everyone. I'm not meant to be for everyone. I know that, and I'm okay with that. I like who I am. I like how I am. I like how I present myself. I like, you know, all aspects about me, flaws and all, and I'm flawed, you know. Um, but with these flaws, I've learned how to deal with them and how to embrace them, how to show you who I am and be myself without compromising who I am, you know. Um, and yeah, these YouTube streets are funny, they're entertaining. Sometimes they're, they can be a little scary for those who don't have confidence or who they are. They need a big following or people to have their back or to fight for them and things like that. You know, while I, speak on things that I see that I feel is wrong, 
I'm not here to fight for anyone. Oh, Jesus. I'm not here to fight for anyone. I'm here to fight for myself. I'm here to be myself. I'm here to present myself in the best way that I am meant to present myself in, you know? I can't be your superhero when I'm neglecting who I am. And part of who I am is while I will, you know saying, speak on things that I feel is wrong, I'm here for me, you know? <laughs> life is about, my life is about me and people that's in my personal life, that's in my, you know, inner circle. And if people from YouTube happen to become part of my inner circle, then they will experience who I am, how I am in real life. But for now, yeah, you're gonna get this YouTube personality, which is what you see in front of you, what I choose to present in front of the camera, you know, which is pretty close to who I am anyway. But you know, there's things that go on in my real life that will not be displayed on camera. There's things that, that will go on in my real life that will not be fodder for YouTube gossip or YouTube beefs or things like that, you know. There's a fine line that you need not cross when you run into people, whatever, be it in person, be it you know, on YouTube, be it through videos, things like that. You need to be able to respect one another, you know, respect yourself first. You know, that's what I always say love yourself, respect, I mean, love someone else, respect yourself, respect someone else. You know, that's how I always in all my videos because that's truly how I feel and believe. You know, if I don't respect myself, how and why would someone res expect me to respect them? You know, I couldn't because I wouldn't know how to because I don't respect myself. You know, how can I love someone else when I'm not able or willing to love myself first? You know, so I say little things here and there, you know what I'm saying, little adages and things like that on these YouTube streets that I say in my real life, you know, that I believe in my real life. You know, when I say that I'm gonna give you all of me, I'm gonna give you all of me within reason. I'm gonna give you all of me within the vein of, let me show you who I am so there's no misunderstanding about anything that I do and or say. And I want you to understand that there's no malicious intent in anything that I say or do, you know. It may come, I'm very straightforward, you know. Sometimes it may come across as a little harsh, but I'm working on my tech and my delivery as well as a human being, as an adult, as a person, you know. Not everyone is can handle, you know, blunt straightforwardness. And although that's who I am, I still need to be conscious of someone else's feelings, the people that I talk to, the people that I communicate with, the people that I involve myself with. I can't just be blunt straightforward saying, damn the world, you know, it's who I am, either like it or don't like it. While I may think that, I still need to be conscious enough and human enough to be able to say, oh, this person's personality may not work well with this straightforward in your face harshness that I can sometimes deliver or be. So I need to, you know, sometimes hold back a little bit, not on what I mean and what I say, but how I say it, you know? Because it's not, because you know, we all have heard the old adage, it's not what you say, it's how you say it, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. That really is true, you know? I can't be harsh up front and, you know, in your face when I know that you're sensitive. That makes me an asshole, you know? That makes me someone who is not caring or worried or empathetic, sympathetic to my fellow man or woman, you know, human, I should say. And I am, you know? Although once I say, say what I say, I mean it, you know, I do reflect on how I could have said it differently or better to get my point across in a better way without causing an uh, enemy or foe or anything like that. Now, if you hate me because I said what I said, it's no longer my issue, it's something that you have to deal with. But if you come to me as, in a respectful way, be like, you know what, you hurt my feelings, and I wish you would have told me that in a different way, I have no choice but to respect that. But if you come at me with some craziness and some nonsense trying to cause drama because your feelings got hurt, it's also a way that you can approach me to where we don't, we're not gonna have a conflict. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was trying to, I, I try to do that to other people. I try to make sure that when I come to people with an issue or opportunity that I see, I come to them in a way that is respectful. Now, if you're disrespectful, um, all cards on the table. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. 
And at, and at that point, me trying to be nice to you, I revert to who I truly am, which is, <laughs> you know, who I truly am. I tell you all the time, it's really hard work to be nice because my first instinct is to cuss you out. It really truly is. <laughs> my first instinct is to be nasty. My first instinct is to be harsh and to be cruel and to be vicious and negative. That's my first instinct. It is. And I've fought and I fight really hard to not have that be my first response. I fight and I have fought really hard for me to tap into the nicer side of who I am, the more compassionate side, the more caring side, because I'm that as well. But my initial instinct is to fight. We've heard of the fight or flight instincts. My initial instinct is to not, not flight, it's to fight. To cuss you out verbally, to if you step to me the wrong way, make sure that you realize that that was a mistake. <laughs> you know, that's my first instinct. Because all my life, all my life I had to fight. I had to fight my, no I didn't. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, I'm kind of purple, you know, Miss Sophia, my life I had to fight. And it really was, all my life I really had to fight. It's hard for a young man being, uh, you know, a certain way living in the ghetto. It really is, you know, and not having that ghetto mentality. Not out there cussing and selling drugs and slanging and gang banging and, you know, popping fences, stealing cars, stealing things. That's hard for a person who's not like that living in the ghetto. And that's all that you're surrounded by. People want to try you. People want to think that you're soft. People want to think that, you know, they can come to you and say whatever they want to say to you and you say nothing. Just because you choose to be quiet, just because you choose to be different. You know, I chose to be in school all the time. I chose to go to dance classes and modeling classes and acting classes and refinement type classes, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't, like I said, on one, my previous video, I've never been one person to believe that I am my environment. I am my surroundings, you know? I took note of my surroundings and got from it what I could, you know? Like the skills to survive, the skills to fight, the skills to, you know, get you up off me. But at the same time, also hone the skills to be able to talk to someone in a, you know, respectful way, respectful tone, until I don't have to anymore. It's just is what it is, you know? You have to use your life and your life experiences to help you be the best person that you were meant to be. And I've always known that, you know? I see how not being your best messes you mentally, physically, emotionally, you know what I'm saying? It's straining. And it, it also affects you financially. But yeah, I just want to come to you and say that, you know, all these YouTube streets is funny to me, you know what I'm saying? People think that these YouTube streets protect them. It really doesn't, you know? Um, it's something that you really need to think about, that when you come at people crazy or the wrong way, and people like to say, oh, well, you don't know me. You're right, I don't know you. Or whoever you're talking to don't know you. But one thing I say about me is, I know me. You know, I know what I'm capable of doing. Legally and illegally, you know? So, like I said, I mean, just be kind to one another. Be safe, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to roast a gang, keep it cute. You know what I'm saying? Keep it cool. You know what I'm saying? Don't be that person that want to go so deep and so negative and so nasty that to where someone want to do something outside these streets to you, you know what I'm saying, outside of this virtual camera to you, you know, who does that, like, I want to cut you so deep and say something so nasty and so visceral and so viral and so ugly and malicious towards you that you want to, you know, hurt me or send somebody out to hurt me or go to court on me or something like that, like, it's not that serious, you know, it really is, like, this is YouTube, people. This is, you know, fun. This is roasting gags. This is entertainment. This is vlogging. This is, you know what I'm saying? Spilling tea, as they say. It's not about, you know, who can be the most sensationalized character on here. You know, I'd rather be a um, person than a caricature of who I am. And a lot of people on here I see as caricatures of themselves, you know. While it's entertaining and funny at times, it's still sad and dark, you know, because it's like you don't know who you are. You don't know who you want to be. You don't want you don't, you don't you know, you want to show people who you are. And then even ask, do you know who you are? Do you know what you're about? Do you know what you will or won't do for a dollar? Do you 
like oh, beef and beef, beef for, for dollars, or you know, if I hear you making a video about you, I'm not making all the money. I can't like you making all the money. Come on now, if YouTube is your only form of income, that's sad. YouTube, if you don't have a hundred thousand um, subscribers or a million subscribers like that, these big numbers. You're not making money like that. <laughs> you're not. You're making change. You're making lunch money. You're making dinner money. You're making gas money. You know? And while every little bit helps, come on now, you're going to ruin your reputation and ruin your personality and ruin your brand for lunch money? <laughs> come on now. You're going to sit here and act a plump idiot of yourself and show the world that you have no tact and no integrity and no class and no cool for a Big Mac? Supersized? For some wings and a beer? For a couple drinks and some nachos? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Think about it. That's silly. Who does that? You know? Get off your ass and off your camera and go to work. Earn a real check. You know what I'm saying? YouTube is for fun. This is play money. This is monopoly money. It's not guaranteed. At any point in time, they can say, I'm not paying y'all anything. And you know, you see how rules change in just the past six months. Things change all the time. Things become more restrictive all the time. <laughs> and y'all over here playing around, acting, acting a fool of yourself and making people look, look at you sideways and cross-eyed and side-eye you for lunch money, for gas money. You're out here begging and pleading people to be your friend and begging, begging and pleading people to support you and, you know, Open it up, you know, go fund me to get apartments and furniture and computers and whatever the case may be. I've been on YouTube for about a month now, if that long. And I knew since well, I was gonna do this, I, I, I need to get everything in check. I ordered my lighting kit, I ordered my computer. Well, I already have a computer, but I ordered a better computer. I'm talking to people, asking people what program can I get to make my um, channel the best it can be. And I'm doing this out of my own pocket not expecting anything every time. I'm asking people that may watch me to fund me. <laughs> you know? It's ridiculous. I don't understand it. Like, really scratching my head because I don't understand it. As an adult, I call myself a man and I'm going to beg for you to you know, some help support my habit, help support my job. You no, know, subscribe to me if you want to, please. By all means, subscribe to me. Like the videos, comment on them, share them, you know. But I'm not asking you to give me anything. If you want to, thank you. I appreciate it. You know, let's swap recipes. Let's swap design ideas. Let's swap places I can go to get better fabric, you know what I'm saying, for my fashions. You know what I'm saying? Let's give me uh, hints and ideas on where I can go to get better beating the rhinestones and Swarovski crystals for my clothes that I design. You know what I'm saying? The jewelry I make. Tell me the best painting techniques for my art. You know, hit me with some um, great books that you've read recently. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up with some, you know, great poetry that you read that you learned, that you know about. Some great artists that you heard, some music that you've heard. You know, that's what I'm here for to converse with you, to talk to you, to let you know about me, to learn about you. You know, those are the gifts that I appreciate. Because I make my own money, you know. I'm employed at three different places, plus I do fashion on the side, plus I'm doing this on the side, so granted every little bit helps, but I'm not asking you to give me anything. You know, I hear people asking for stuff, or oh, I need to get an apartment. Come on, you call yourself a grown-ass man or a grown-ass woman, and you couch surface sleeping on someone's couch come on now <laughs> all the energy you put on YouTube if it's not paying out to pay your bills like that you need to be thinking about something else <laughs> you know but anyways this is Food Junkie coming at you again with another video if you like it and like the content that I'm giving you subscribe like comment and share love yourself Love someone else. Respect yourself. Respect someone else. And until next time, Food Junkie.